see Michael has in his hand, uh, I don't know, eight, ten probably, uh, pine cones. So as we're walking along the wood road and we see these, we just pick them up and wander down the road a ways and toss them in some spot where we don't have any pine trees. One way to assist in diversifying our woodlot. So this is a spot where we had cut a big fir. Oop, Mr. Squirrel doesn't sound very happy. So Michael's tossing a cone or two in this area since we've created a space for a tree. See a good spot, Michael? I do. Here you go. I heard him fall, didn't see him. This is one of our big old pine on the woodlot. He's uh, not doing terribly well himself, as you can see. He's kind of been bent and busted, and, but he's still hanging in. And I'll show you in a second why it's important that we hang on to these old guys. So this is what he looks like at his base. Getting quite rotten. However, if you look at the ground down around him, he's doing his very best to reproduce for as long as he can. It's all kinds all around. And what will happen probably this spring is that I will take and dig up a number of these and transplant them to areas where we don't have any pine in an effort to increase our species diversification in various parts of our woodlot. This here is thinning your carrots. Uh, we have this little white pine right here and all these little fur. Gotta be careful not to pull him out. And so we try and Eliminate any nearby competitors for at least a few years. And of course, if you want to go through and do this for 155 acres, well, good luck. Now this here is the mama of those couple of seedlings. Well, one seedling and I was showing that I was uh, pruning around. Rot, 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 rot. Big cavity. Darn near dead. Still producing seeds for the next generation. This is a planted white pine probably about four years ago. Looking pretty healthy. Doing well. This is also about a four-year-old pine with some browse damage here. Nibble here. I think this little tip has been damaged right here. Not sure who or what is doing it, but um, he'll probably survive with this little damage. That guy is a natural regeneration in this area, and basically, we uh, cut around him some to give him a little more light. So that he'll be able to grow. White pine are considered intermediate shade tolerant. So they can't uh, stand a huge amount of shade. But they can certainly tolerate a certain amount. So we do have a number of pine seedlings that are doing quite well. This guy's been here for several years. Uh, he's a little bent and crooked. But uh, not getting chewed up or anything so he seems to be doing okay and hopefully we'll grow into a mature tree eventually and unfortunately we also have others 
that aren't doing very well at all. So this guy was doing well, but sometime over the winter, something has munched severely on it. Uh, my guess is white-tailed deer. Michael doesn't seem to think that's the case. Uh, we also have porcupines. We have rabbits. Well, technically ours are hares, not rabbits. But this guy's a little tall for a rabbit, I would think, to have been chewing on, because we didn't really have a lot of snow. And we had one a few years back that had similar damage. It was probably three or four feet tall, though. And it did die from the uh, from the severe browse that it had on it. So we don't know if this one will survive. I'm dubious. If anybody has any ideas what might be doing this, we'd be happy to hear from you. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of pine and pine seedlings and ways of increasing the diversification in your woodlot by just walking along and not doing a whole lot of work. So hit that subscribe button. Don't forget the little notification bell so you know when we upload again. And we'll see you again next time. Stay safe.